A lady got two sons, right? She named one Mind Your Own Business and another one Trouble. So one day the two of them decided to play hide and seek. So Trouble said he's gonna go hide first. So Trouble went and hide. While Mind Your Business I looked for him, he come out on a street late in the night and a police saw him walking around looking, looking around at stuff. So the police uh, pulled over and called him. He said, come here. What's your name? He said, mind your own business. Then the police said, boy, you looking for trouble or what? And I said, yes, how do you know? I'm looking for trouble. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your local family with Rita and Krishna. I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you in advance for watching and we hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with everyone. To all the Muslim brothers and sisters out there, Happy Eid Al-Adha. May your uh, day be very successful and joyous. So we're making some badam lach now. So that's the uh, first step there. We're gonna uh, patch up the flour or parch it up. We got about a cup and a half, right? All right, so that's the first first uh, step. This is the process here. We got some uh, flour already patched up here and we spread it out here to cool down, right? Over here, we're gonna make the bag. Oh, we got one cup of water and quarter cup of uh, sugar. Half cup of sugar, okay, one cup of water, half a cup of sugar. We're using uh, white sugar. So we're gonna make the bag there. That will be the next step. It's a very quick uh, process there. We're adding, adding in some food color in there to color up the, uh, the bag or the sweetener or candy, right? All right, so we're gonna put a pinch of uh, lemon juice in there. Not too much, right? Just a little squeeze. And turn it up, turn it up. Have to make it get thick. All right, so we got the pan there. We're putting the pack in. We're laying it out. She will lay out everything there on the table. All right, so that's what you gotta do with the pack there. You gotta catch it up and make it go middle. <laughs> or make it smaller. What are you trying to do? Cool it down? Okay. We're trying to do that to make it cool long. Yes, fam, let's check. See how it's coming along, real nice. You could do it like that way and make stretch a sweetie too, right? Long mm -hmm. sweetie. That's the same thing. Yeah. And we got mommy and daddy trying to um, tea flat me recipe here. Nice color. And it's from your friend Barty. Yeah, so big up to Barty. From yeah, she used to live in Blackbush, right? Mm-hmm. Port Manto. Yeah, Uncle Sister. 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 You can add your little island so for help you say no got burned. So this thing you gotta work with it while it's still hot, right? That's the only disadvantage or the hard part with this process. You gotta work with the candy before it get too hard or the bag, right? Yeah, I did so. the part. You gotta stretch it out, make sure it's not cool long on you. Yeah. Now we're adding the flour onto the onto the candy. So this is the process of making bottom lunch. Everything you make one Or whatever you wanna call it, right? Flour. Let us know what else you guys call it. Flour steady. Wow. Wow. It looks like it's taking shape there. Good job, good job. Wow. It smells like it too. Daddy not like some. <laughs> They say that I'm supposed to talk while making this thing. Hey, Barnaby, thank you, girl. I know now you're not the same for me no more. Make it fresh. Wow. Make it fresh. Make it fresh, baby. Make it more tip, more tip. Auntie, it's a little bit too much. Auntie, like you're not too sure, give it a shot to see if you come up with the next round. No, no, no. Check it out, guys. Real nice. Give us a taste. Good, good, good job. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, and check it out, guys. <laughs> Make fathers there here, right? Uh, Ethan, crawl out. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So the moment we were waiting, Happy Father said we got a surprise for you. Surprise for me? Yes. Oh, no, I don't like surprise. Anyway, what is it? And the moment we were waiting for it's from Ethan and Jenna. What you what what day today? Father's Day. Uh-huh. Gets underwear and vest. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna said every Father's Day is what? Underwear? Vest. So Bokhtan Vest Day. <laughs> so once a year make a Bokhtan vest. You don't need to buy, right? For the rest of the year, so the guy is not paid. A bokta. More bokta. Vest and more vest. But now I gotta stop wearing my black shirt as my singlet. We get original vest here. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Guys, and check it out. Jenna did her hair by herself today. What do you guys think? How she did? Jenna is an expert. I think she's she wanna learn how to braid her hair. I think you did an awesome job. I didn't want to change it. I just leave it just like that, right, Jen? Go on, let's see. You see? It's not perfect, but I don't want to change it because she put in a lot of hard work, right? Yeah. She's getting there, getting there. You're getting there. So that's how I want to change it. Ethan also did his hair by himself. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's super duper hot. That's why Ethan had, don't have like a shirt. Ethan, you can borrow one of the vests already or have I? <laughs> what are we doing? We're doing some nice jerk chicken. Right after the RT, it's party. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. I also want to wish all the dads happy Father's Day and all of the moms that are in playing Marvel, um, happy Father's Day too. Thank you, Jen. You're welcome. Same to you. What? <laughs> Jen is playing a father? Yes. For Ethan, right? <laughs> now you make me feel bad now. I feel like I'm do a good job there. Oh, you are, you are. And Jenna gonna take joke. over? It's a joke. Alright, guys, so we got some jerk chicken on the grill here, right? We're doing the charcoal grill. We got rid of the um, of the gas grill. Somebody oh, come and pick it up. Oh, you from didn't the last put the, video when we announced, right? You didn't put the um, hot dog? Yeah, hot dog I'm gonna do after. Let me finish the chicken and then I'll do the hot dog. The hot dog, you know, it's not gonna take long. We do some. Ethan like both, so he like the jerk chicken too. And he also like the hot dog, so we'll do a little bit of both. So look where Rita got chilling for me here. A bottle of uh, champagne. So let's open up this bad boy. Rosé. This rosé? Yeah. All right, so. Rosé. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers, right? And like Jenna said, if you're a mother and you're playing the father role, happy Father's Day to you too. The rosé tastes better than moet. Alright, so drink what you like, man. One life to live, right? Live like it's your last day. Yeah. Too bad tomorrow is working day, right? I don't know why they make it on a Sunday, right? You can't drink too much. You gotta go back to work on Monday. All right? We do Rita a favor. Then. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Happy Father's Day to all the dad out there. All right. So we cheer everything for all of you, right? Wow. Love it. It's good. Rose is the best. Yeah, it carry a smooth taste from it. Cheap champagne. Oh yeah? No, not because of the cheapness, but it drink real nice. Whoever yeah, yeah. drink the champagne, they know. Yeah, this is very good. It carry a, a very smooth taste. And it's not, um, what do you say? I'm not a good um, liquor reviewer, but it's very good. It's nice and smooth, man. You can drink this whole bottle of one shot. Cheers. Cheers, enjoy. Plus, let me see what's going on with Krishna here. So look for the shorts, man. 
Got that beer to go along with it, so. That with beers are better. What do you guys think? Nah, we don't discriminate. <laughs> Let's check on the grill. I got the hot dog there. I forgot wow. to remove it to towel. So I'll put it on the grill to towel. See how the chicken coming along there? It's looking real good, right? Mm -hmm. Some nice jerk chicken there. Looking real succulent there too. This may be another uh, 20 minutes more. And this should be good to go. I'll put it on low heat. So the, um, the, bar the, um, the gr uh, jerk sauce could go into it. I don't want it to burn. So I put it on very low heat here. And the stuff that you do for your kids, right? Because we went somewhere and Ethan had tried uh, this one, right? Mm -hmm. The charcoal. And since then he fell in love and we just put the grill on the on the street and somebody took the, it. The gas one on the street. And yeah. I got the charcoal. I'm also doing some hot dog here. He tell like he hot dog too, but with this jerk chicken, probably not going to eat the hot dog. So Are you going to snack on it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing a lot, right? As you can see. Just a few. Let me spread it out there. Yeah, because we had family over yesterday and we did a big cooking, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's how the, the barbecue coming along there. So today not dark day, man. Why your man said to the dark day? And the man still there walking, man. <laughs> Check out this succulent jar chicken, how this coming along there. This is good to go here. I'm going to leave it on. Let it stay in the heat for a little bit while I apply additional coat of jerk sauce here this is a special jerk sauce right if you want to know what is the recipe drop a comment and i'll let you know what is the secret for this jerk sauce here? Really check nice. this out man real good real good why go to jamaica when jamaica can come to you right mm -hmm. jerk sauce in the house or jerk chicken in the house jerk chicken on point absolutely Wow, it's nice and cold today, right? Not cold, nice weather. Real thing, not real too hot. Thing. Real nice, real nice. All right, so dinner time here. We got the aisle warm up here. We're making some the kids' uh, favorite, right? For dinner here, we got the onion and pepper. Some people don't like to fry the pepper up, right? Put it all together, but that's how I like to do it. Me and I like to smell up this flavor there. Alright, so I'm gonna let the onion caramelize for a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with the rest of the stuff there. Special ingredient here today, special dish. Here I got some grind garlic, some black pepper, and some green seasoning here. Fresh out of the garden there. Yes. Yeah. And some red chili there. Flavor up this bad by the look at this here. And this is gonna work nice with the jerk chicken, right? Of course, of course. That's why I'm going with a good com combination there, man. And it's real windy now. <laughs> it's getting so yeah, the windy. Wind pick up. The wind pick up, but um, a few more days for official summer, right? We're still in spring, so we gotta expect some of these. Yeah. And I think in uh, two days we're gonna have the heat wave is gonna start here in in New Jersey. So heat wave is um, when you have three or more days, right? At 90 plus. So I think from Tuesday onward, it's going to be 90 plus degree. All right, so let me go ahead and add my bora in here. I have other ingredients, but I'm going to add the bora in. Rita did a good job here in chefing up this stuff here, or chipping up this stuff real nice there, right? Like a chef there behind the scene. Good job, good job. So let me try the bora on there. Take a look at that there. Fry this up for a little bit, not for too long. Just to flavor it up, let it get into the seasoning. And it should be good to go. And family is like um after eight, right? And look how bright the place is, right? Mm. We call it out early and seen already for the night. So we want to make it hot or fresh, right? We don't want to reheat it. So that's how you want to do it. Same time that we're gonna be ready to eat dinner. Yeah, we prep everything and leave it, but the kids said they're not ready for dinner yet, so that's why we didn't find. Uh, three or four to five days remaining depends, right? On the school I think year. Got four, they both got four days, but um, Ethan got four days in a row. Jenna got two days, then a break in the middle for uh, June team, and then an additional two days, and then it's gonna be summer break. 
it's a good for them, right? They are very excited for that. I'm also excited too because during that time you just go on a little break too. <laughs> and Rita, of course, has been on vacation yes. during those days. <laughs> of course. Those are her uh, vacation months or days, right? Yeah, when the kids are home. Alright, this is ready to go here. Smells really good. Alright, so we got the biryani style basmati rice here. This is uh, Guyanese style, or our style, not Guyanese. This is our style of the biryani. It's not the original, but we're doing the basmati rice here. And we add some How the kids like it? Food coloring. This is the way Ethan and Jenna like it, right? So we're doing it for their style. I got the pork set. Mix up real good there. Let me go in with the, the other set there to get everything real nice. mixed up there. And family, don't cook for other people. Cook what your kids eat and you eat, right? Yeah, man. And yeah, this is the way we like it, right? Or the kids like it. For me, I eat anything, man. Once he pass over fire, I eat them. The man say, or the man say, this is me rule. You eat anything from whale to alligator tail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get everything mixed up there and incorporate it there. And like I said, man, me and Bana eat everything, right? So, just to avoid them stuff because returning kids not eat all that stuff. From sea to, to land. Will to alligator tail, right? Let me know what you guys eat. When you see my avoid stuff, I just avoid because um, I don't want to reach a feel offended and stuff for the kid and stuff. So here I got some chipped up carrot here. We did some chipped up carrot there. I'm going to add that in. Of course, more flavor to it, right? Alright guys, so check out this uh, basmati style biryani fry rice here. This is fry rice, it's not biryani. And we top it off with some fresh shallot out of the garden there, right? Everything fresh, man. So check out this guy and he's slash Jamaican jerk chicken there. Real succulent, right? So this is good to go. Ready, man. Hot off the grill there. Eh? We're gonna have dinner right now. Fried rice is ready, or uh, biryani rice, and chicken, you see this chicken there? Succulent, see it's loosing off the bone there. Yeah. Can't get better than this, man. So we get eaten, gonna do a review. Let's see, they got some nice fried rice, one piece jerk chicken. I rate the rice out of 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Everything a 10 out of 10, man? And we got a second opinion, right? Not because I cook it. I give I give a um, third party review there. Yeah. Because if I do it, it's going to be a conflict of interest. Absolutely. So that's like a third party review. Absolutely. Goodbye. Uh, if we can set 10 out of 10, then it's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. How was the chicken? 10 out of 10. Okay, enjoy. So a teacher was in class teaching her class, right? And she tell him your assignment for this weekend is you go home and you think of a story and when you come back on Monday, you tell me the moral of the story. So Monday morning, all the kids come back. First, he call Lelawati. So Lelawati tell me your story, and I need to hear the moral. Lelawati say, yeah, over the weekend, you know, we have a farm, and normally we take chicken and we take egg to the market. We load it up in our car, or our pickup, and we load it in the back in the basket, and we take it to the farm. On our, um, not to the farm, to the market. On the way to the market, we hit a bump and the basket with all the eggs fell out of the back of the van and all the eggs break. The teacher said, okay, good. What is the moral of the story? The Lavati said, don't put all the egg in one basket. The teacher said, very good. Round of applause. Next, he said, who is next? The Champawati raised his hand and he said, I'm next. The teacher said, okay, go ahead. Tell us your story. He said, we also own a farm, but in our farm, we don't sell stuff. People come to our place to buy. We don't go out and sell. But we have an incubator, and we put in 12 eggs in there. And when the egg hatch now, only eight hatch. 
teacher said, okay, good. What is the moral of the story? He said, never count your chicken until they're hatched. Next up is Balgobin. Teacher said, okay, Balgobin, go ahead. What is your story? Balgobin said, my uncle was fighting in the Vietnam War. He was flying a war plane. While he was flying, he got shot down by the enemy. So while his plane was going down, he was able to grab a few stuff and a case of beer. But when he landed, he landed direct in the middle of the enemy territory. And there was a hundred Vietnamese soldiers surrounded him. So he pulled out his gun and he shot about 70 of them. When he shot about the 70 of them, he ran out a bullet. Then he pulled out the machete or he cut last. And he killed another 20 of them. The remaining 10, he killed with the beer hand. The teacher said, okay, what is the moral of the story? He said, you don't mess with my uncle while he's been drinking. Um, and we also making some nice, what are we making, some planting, right? Yeah, we're making some snack, man. We run out of snack and we run low on the snack. And it's very hot, so we gotta cool down, right? It's the first day here of a heat wave that's uh, coming through the east coast here or around new jersey new york area so we gotta stay cool at the same time while we're in the heat right yeah it looks like we gotta bring out that pool you know, we gotta make something work right yeah so i'm get... doing some uh, nice planting chips here are we doing the yellow one or the ripe one and the green one jen normally like the ripe one to eat just like that i say yellow one man where's the ripe one and stuff? yeah i say yellow and ripe too god <laughs> bye mm with the boss lady one first right the yellow one or the ripe one yeah yeah i like this one myself krishna don't like this one because you said there is a saying back home in guyana right <laughs> <laughs> you can say you know you can say you know already say <laughs> <laughs> not like in details now nah. nah, nah, right. or set down check it out You got double strain on here, right? Straining it twice. Because you want it the next set. What they say, if it's nice, you, you do it twice? <laughs> or you say it twice? It's nice to do it twice, man. So you gotta do it twice because it's real nice. And you like the heat or you like the cold? I, I rather the heat, even though it's like really hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I prefer the heat than the winter. But, uh, you know, we're living in New Jersey, so we get both, right? Winter time, some people like the winter, they say they can control that. They can bundle up and stay warm. But when you get hot like this, you can't take out. much you take out. You get down to the last layer, you'll be naked after, and it can't help you. <laughs> but when it's cold, and put on another layer, put on another layer, and you can stay warm, and you can keep putting on, right? And you stay warm. So that's what some people say. Yeah. But, but for me, it doesn't matter. I like it when it's hot. I mean, I grew up in uh, Guyana, right? So it was always hot over there. And um, this one is like nothing to me. Yeah, because I think when when it's cold, your body get more pain, right? <laughs> All the old age pain is up. Yes. I, that's what I think. Rita does predict the weather, you know. <laughs> When Raina fall and so retire, tell you, I have to your back or your knee. Where I took my epidural. <laughs> <laughs> when that starts, pain retires, say Raina come down. Okay, watch out for rain. <laughs> and I went to the doctor and they were laughing, right? <laughs> and it's true though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't believe in superstitious belief, but. Yeah, Rita tell the doctor that I'm, you know, when it's about to rain, my back hurt. The doctor was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you say, yeah, I can predict when the rain is coming down. When the rain is about to come down, my back hurts. <laughs> the man was rolling with love. <laughs> but it's true. Yes, fam. Check it out. Krishna made fun out of me. No, man. It's no fun. It's the truth, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got the yellow one done now. Time for green planting. And look who smell was coming. Was it cooking? <laughs> the rack smell was cooking or what? I smelt it. Downstairs. You, you smell did? All the way up there? No, I smelt it. You smelt it? You yeah. smelt it? I smelled it. Oh. I thought you smelt it. Alright, so that's yours. Your favorite there. And this one is your mommy favorite. You have to get your little bowl and your little salt. Yeah, it didn't have any salt. It. And it's hot, probably hot. 
And we only doing five because we wanna do it fresh, right? Yeah, ma'am, we do it fresh, finish it up, and do some more fresh. Yeah, since it's uh, summer coming up, we don't wanna pack stuff up. Yeah, plus we're outside, right? Normally when it's inside, I don't wanna fry too much inside the house, but now we're outside. We can just crack this thing up and uh, pop it in there. Yeah, a real thing. Plus it's too much of fry thing, not good, right? So that's where I fry a little bit. <laughs> Excuses! We're still up on them, still up on them. See how this come out there? Nice and crispy there. Ready, ready to rock and roll. And we got a couple of sets here, like uh, Rita was saying earlier. We're not doing a lot, but we do a little bit. And we some fresh, man. Fresh out the. What do you call it? Fresh out the. Karahi. Out the karahi and into the mouth. Yeah, out the walk. And let's check on Ethan trying to flex the muscle. Right? You don't trying to be in shape for the summer, right? Let's see the muscle. Flex it, flex it. <laughs> Yay! Go Ethan. Alright, last set, last set, last set there. See how we like it there? Nice, nice and brown. Crispy. Brown like Rita there. Yeah. Brown girl? Yes. Try one, try one quick. Try one? Extra, extra tripsy. Look at it. And what are we doing? I got some mozzarella stick here remaining in the back. Let me see if I can figure out how to open this back and fry it out. It's not a lot, it's just a few remaining. Yeah, so we buy it in bulk. Since I got the warm oil here, I figured let me uh, make use of it, right? See? I just come out here. Normally I do this on the air fryer. Do it healthier. But since I got the hot oil, why let it go waste, right? This girl from Guyana, oh my heart desire, take my hand Lalita, I'll 